All right, today we are making Spam Katsu Sandos. Uh, obviously, you used to make these with Wagyu or any other meats, but we're gonna do Spam. I like Spam. I know it's gonna gross some of you guys out, but trust me, it's tasty. We're gonna coat these in panko, and then we're gonna make two sauces with them and just throw them on some bread and make them look like those typical Katsu Sandos. Uh, I like to start by just trimming off the very top of the Spam. That piece is normally not completely flat, so it'll just help make this process easier. And then you're gonna cut these into pieces just about half an inch thick. Right there is what we're looking for. As you can see, that's probably just about half an inch, maybe a little less. Make a bunch of those, and then we're gonna go to the next process, which is breading them. You got your three containers, you're gonna do uh, flour, egg, and panko. So let's start with just any flour that you have around the house will work. I think panko is the more Japanese way you're doing this, but you could use any type of breadcrumbs you want. And then just eggs. Make sure you beat those eggs to a nice homogenous mixture. That's just gonna help with this process. Spam's kinda hard to fry, so it's not gonna be perfect. While you're doing that, heat up your oil. You just wanna get it hot enough to pan fry. We're not going for any specific temperature here. It's all about the look of it. And now let's coat these. Get these really nice and covered in flour. Throw them over into your egg wash. Try to get as much coating on there as possible. It's your fingers, it's not the best technique here. You're gonna have bare spots because of how you grab it. So try to grab it on the side and then throw it into the panko. I like to then pour a little over the top of it so you don't have to flip it and make more smudges. Just tries to maximize your coverage here. There you go, looks beautiful. Make sure you're really kind of pushing it in, finding the bare spots. It's ultimately just gonna help make it as crispy as possible, but you don't need to go too anal here. And then you're just going to repeat the process again with one more piece, maybe two more. I wound up only doing one more because that's how many sandwiches I was going to make. I'm going to make two small ones here. But you're just going to repeat that process. I like to use butter bread, so toast up two pieces of your, your bread of choice. You want to just get it lightly golden brown. The toast kind of gives a little crunch to the sandwich. So throw it in on your toast setting, four or five, whatever is like kind of mid-ground. And now we're going to make a sauce. Starting with mustard, I'm going to add Kewpie mayo. Kewpie is a Japanese mayo. It has a little vinegar in it, which helps. And we're just going to do equal parts. Mix that together and give it a taste. Don't stick your fingers in it if you're making it for other people. I need a little more mayo here just to get that taste I want. And then you mix that together, and that's going to be your first sauce. The second one is just that barbecue. Throw these now into the oil once it's hot. You want to just see little bits of bubbles forming here. We're not going for a hard, deep fry. The meat is already cooked, so all you're trying to do is brown the breadcrumbs. Let that sit in there for probably two minutes each side, and you're going to be sitting pretty good with these. When your bread's ready, take it out. That's that color you're looking for, nice golden brown. I'm going to cut these in half the thick way, and those are going to be the two specific sandwiches. Now we're gonna dress these while they're frying. This is the mayo mustard sauce. This is also gonna have one other ingredient on it. You'll, you'll see in a little bit. And then the other one is gonna have barbecue sauce. Try not to spill over your cutting board also, but it happens. The bread will soak this up nicely too, which is really nice and really useful for this sandwich. At this point, you're gonna wanna go and you're gonna wanna check on your uh, sandos. That's what you're looking for, that beautiful golden brown. Flip them over, let them go for another minute or two on the other side. Once you see them both look like that, that's right where you want to be sitting. I'm going to give it another 20 seconds just to get it. And then you're going to pull it out, you're going to throw it onto a paper towel to absorb off all the extra oil. Here's the next secret ingredient. For that mayo one, we're going to use some white American cheese. I was just mixing it up, seeing if this would taste good. Uh, and then you're going to make these sandwiches. Very easy. You're going to take your sandos. You're going to throw those spam cutlets on there. Your katsus, not your sandos. Throw a little extra of that barbecue sauce into the barbecue one. It's delicious. It soaks it up real nicely. Clean up your cutting board, and then you just trim the edges. You don't need to do this. It's a little wasteful, but this is you know how you get that beautiful sandu 90-degree angle look. Cut them up nice. Do it to both. And you are left with these absolutely incredible. If I told you that was Wagyu from far away, you'd believe me. Wow. Just stunning. But now is what matters. Let's taste these. First up is the mayo mustard one. It's not bad, but it's missing a little bit of the, the vinegary kick. The mayo didn't cover enough of it to really cut through the fat. And this barbecue one, that one hit the spot. That's the one you should make. Grab that Japanese barbecue. Try that. That's all you need. It was delicious.